Alrighty, so what are we doing here, Dad? Uh, we're here to basically pay our respects to my parents. What, some, what are some of the characteristics you remember about Gramps? And don't say about the falling asleep because my dad already used it. Besides falling asleep? Yeah. <laughs> Let's say he was reading a certain paragraph, right? And then he'll fall asleep with the, holding the newspaper. Yeah. And then he'll wake up a couple of minutes later and he will continue on to the next paragraph. Or sometimes he'll probably, you know, next to him or whatever and he'll fall asleep. I'll poke him in the stomach. He'll wake up, startle him, he'll wake up. Now he'll keep, he'll keep talking. And so Raymond was saying that it's a tradition. That's something my grandpa started. Can you tell us about that? Pretty much, yeah. When my mom died, my, my dad used to be here a lot. Only used to say basically almost daily. You know, he'll walk up here, bring his newspaper, sit, just be with her. So basically it's just a tradition that he started and we've been taking care of it now that he's gone, so. That's the best memory I've had with Grandpa was the, the, the last day we were with him. He was at the senior center. We went to go visit him. You know, we went often within the last months before he passed away. And, you know, he ate. We all ate together. You know, talked. Had a good time with him. He was happy that we were there. You know, then following the following weekend, you know, he passed away. So I would say that was the last good memory I've had of Grandpa. All right, so I know that like a lot of, um, you know, for most people when they die, you know, when their family member dies, like they only come once a year, if even at that, you know what I mean? So it's just funny how, you know, my grandpa had a lot of kids, but, you know, we're the only ones who still come here. Well, it's true. It's true, and, you know, just because they're not here anymore doesn't mean that, you know, they're, they're not here in spirit. For us, at least once a week we have to be here, you know, watch over, you know, my parents and the rest of the family that is very here. He's been gone a few years now. And, you know, I know most people say that, you know, when someone dies, you go through that mourning process, and after that, eventually you become okay with it. And I guess I have to the most part, you know what I mean? But there's not a single day that I don't think about something about him. That I don't think about you know, how things would have been if he would have been around. It was funny how, right after your grandma died, <clears throat> then he said, that I'm gonna die in exactly 10 years from her. And the funny thing, the amazing thing about it is that it, that it did happen. Grandma died on the, on the 2nd of February, and your grandpa died on the 5th of, of 93 for your grandma and 2003 for your grandpa. Just like he said it was. 10 years. 10 years. You know, I always used to ask myself a question. Why is it that good people always die first while other people who are, you know, live awful, rotten lives, who go around taking from humanity and never never giving back why do they get to live longer why is it you always hear about good people dying and you know I've always wondered about that until recently until I realized that maybe the reason why that is is because when a bad person dies no one gives a shit about them they're, they're quickly forgotten and no one ever talks about him again. But when a good person dies, they live on in memories of that they leave in their loved ones. They live on in the way they lived and the things that they taught others. And maybe that's the difference. It's memory.